Look, the bridge is standing and can finally be used again. But we'll get to that in a moment. And with that we'll come to the 16 update of our Lego Brick City. Before we turn to the bridge, we'll clamp a few bricks together to complete our water area. Using the technicals we learned from episode 14, we are improving our first backdrop from episode 6. As you've just noticed, we have pinned both episodes to the info card at the top right. These technicals help us make the waves crash more rustically against the rocks. This is achieved with different shades of blue on plates and, and transparent slopes. Now we come to the water plant corner in front of the fire station and the rocks that produce from the water. We didn't really like the plant corner, they look at like bedding plants. So they were removed for now. Next we'll remove some trans tiles to create color deep again with plates, tiles and slopes. Now we come to the aquatic plants. We'll take you with us at the beginning but then the camera was off and we were in the clamped river. Instead, we'll show you the end result a little closer. We think that you can now clearly see the seaweed and the water lilies. We pull it the plants right around the corner. At the same time we clamp the water lilies on the other side, right up to or under the wooden walkway. What do you think of the revision? Let you ask now in the comments. For all other non-subscribers, if you like the video so far, just subscribe so you don't miss any more updates and don't forget to activate the bell. We've of course added the waves at the same time. Dark becomes light and they adapt even better to the movement. Now we come to a corner that we forgot to tie, just like last time. This is the fire station footbridge. It was hardly no tight able, but while we are it, we'll do that too. Then return to the other side of the jetty. This is where it gets a bit trickier. Why you ask? Because we will also be diving the water area with a cliff. And we will also be using bricks to support the future tracks to ensure they are stable enough. In order not to comment off every single brick, slope or similar, you will now get a quickly you will now get a quick speed build with music. See you soon. Said I'm cold in the water, broken and still. Feel nothing at all, but pain in the chill. Said I'm cold in the water, broken and still. Feel nothing at all, but pain in the chill. Yeah, cold and I'm all alone. Yeah, I can't even see shore. Yeah, and I got nowhere to go. Yeah. Hoping I can stay afloat, yeah It feels like I've been dreaming But I know I'm not sleeping I just need hope Said I'm cold in the water Broken and still Feel nothing at all But pain in the chill Said I'm cold in the water Broken and still Feel nothing at all Chill. Yeah, the waves crash, oh so slow White foam overload, my mind never knows Quite where to go, yeah And I feel so unknown, misunderstood alone Miles away from coast, but no one knows, yeah oh. Oh
nothing at all but pain and the chill Said I'm cold in the water, broken and still Feel nothing at all but pain and the chill Here we are again. We hope you will like it as much as we do. We would also like to say a big thank you to Joe Klemmerstein. He helped us out super quickly with the trans blue tiles. If you ever need individual parts, just contact him. We will link his YouTube channel and his email address in the video description under this video. We'll soon be able to put the bridge back together. But first we want to work on the ballistic superstructure. We already explained it to you in a separate video and showed you how to convert the Lego rails into the L gauge. If you missed this video, well pin it to the info card. We explain it to you in detail there and that's why we are shortening in here. The same applies to the straight rails. After that we had to take the preassemble bridge apart to fit the L gauge rails onto it. And then a question came to us. What do we clamp it between the plastic substructure and the edge of the bridge? After we did some research and asked friends who work in this area. It's turned out that sometimes there are some weeds or rubbish lying around there. To be honest, when you drive over a bridge by train, we don't even think to look there or you drive too fast to even notice it. That's why we decided to continue working with dark bluish gray plates and to add a few details now and then. If you have more information, please post it in the comments. We can finally put the bridge and the rail system together. First comes the pre-assembled bridge start, that is, the part in the front of the track switch. Then comes the part with the track switch, which complements the track circle and the connection to the railway construction site. The bridge fans with right plates underneath can now be attached to the track rails, the same applies to the other side. We still had to close some gaps with plates so that we could start with the ballistic substructure straight away. Of course, we also made sure to incorporate the bridge stems as well as possible so that it looked nice, but at the same time also ensures sufficient stability. Let's start with the ballistic superstructure. First we lay some dark bluish grey plates to incorporate the track rails into the bridge. Then we lay the railway sleepers inside and out. This is followed by the detail work, in which we spread some ballistic, glass and rubbish to bring the track rails to life. With the track switch you sometimes have to improvise like we did this time. That's why there are small impressions of the experimentation. As before we start again with plates and white as a base and then again a dark bluish grey for the incorporation. As before the railway sleepers follow again, which this time also have to be cut into pieces. Of course the animation must not be missing her either. Then you can see how we first try to clamp the bridge fiends to this track. But after the first test run with hand power, it was clear that unfortunately it couldn't stay that way. We had to move the bridge fiends outwards by one more stud. To make it easier to get to the switch, we also shuttled the bridge fiends a little. Of course, lightning should not be neglected in our city update. This time we decided on bridge rail lightning. Because of the high alone, there were trains running underneath and because of the cables being hidden. There were a few round bricks on it. And yes, just running the four cables through the huge number of round bricks must have taken an hour. We don't want to complain, it was a witch and now you can see for yourself in the complete picture how beautiful it harmonized. The high of the latents also gives the jetty with the greenery indirectly lightning and thus also attracts a little attention. The same applies to the bay with the fishing boat. Now that our vintage car, the Lego train, is doing its round and then the Blue Bricks ETA can go again. 
we wanted to ask you something. Don't you think that there is a difference between with and without lightning? While we are on the subject, we sadly lighted up to the Lego American Diner. Take a look that at here top right and right below we have added our city update playlist. We hope you like it's video. If so, please leave a like and bye and see you in the next video. Yo, Bausteinklammer.